Hey everybody, it's Alex aka Grizzaddy. Today I'm going to show you how to configure a USB stick to use with a GATEC floppy disk emulator with the OLED screen installed on the AKS 900, okay? Uh, this is only if you are using the flash floppy uh, firmware because actually, don't do my mistake, at the beginning I didn't know but there's two different uh, firmware that can run uh, the, the GATEC one is called HXC, the other one is flash floppy, okay? So the best way to know uh, what is your firmware, just turn on the sampler and at the boot, uh, just uh, look at the screen, it's gonna show you your firmware over there, okay? So uh, this is maybe the first checkup. Uh, another um, good checkup you can do if you have time, you can just open the sampler and check on the GATEC if uh, the jumper is set on the right place, okay, on the GATEC. For the Akai S900, your jumper should be set uh, on S0, okay, it's the good position. So uh, after that, uh, you know, what I did, because when I was trying to uh, figure all this out uh, for the key and everything, I just messed up with all the setting on the Gothic and at one point my screen here, uh, the OLED screen, all the letter, it was uh, flip up, upside down, okay? So I, I didn't know what to do. So I uh, just decided to go on the Flash Floppy website and uh, update uh, my, uh, my firmware to the latest uh, version uh, available over there, okay? The, the, latest stable, the latest stable version. So actually, uh, that fixed all my bugs, all the problem, okay? So I highly recommend to you guys to do this first if you have time. It's a good thing to do. So I'm gonna show you really quickly uh, how to uh, do this on their website, okay? I'm gonna take a minute with you. Let's go. Okay, now you just need to go on Google and uh, type Flash Floppy Firmware, okay? And choose the first link here. Click on it at the bottom of the page. Download Flash Floppy here. And here you're going to choose the last stable version. Click on it, download, open the package. Inside there is a lots of file, okay? You're going to need to copy those two files, okay? On an empty uh, USB stick, actually uh, already formatted in FAT32, okay? So this is for your firmware, okay? Those two UPD files. Copy those two files on the USB stick. Take the USB stick, put it in the sampler, okay? Turn on the sampler while you press those two buttons for a few seconds, okay, maybe five seconds. Release the button and it's gonna update the firmware automatically, okay? After that, you're gonna need to do this again with two other files, okay, for the bootloader. This is gonna be the same process, okay? So in the package, you're gonna find there's a folder bootloader. Open the folder bootloader and inside, pick those two files, Oop those two UPD files, okay, copy it on, on the empty uh, USB stick so put, take the USB stick, put it in your sampler turn on the sampler while you press, I'm gonna push those two buttons for a few seconds release the button, okay and it's gonna update your bootloader automatically, okay once, it, once this is done, okay, you're ready, okay, you are updated so now I'm gonna show you how to prepare your stick to be able to save uh, your sample on it so let's go Okay, so first you're gonna need to work on a PC, okay, with a window. So uh, take your stick, just format your stick in FAT32, okay? So format your stick. After that, okay, you're gonna need to work uh, with a small app called Notepad, okay? So here, you're gonna need Notepad, it's a small app you can uh, download free on the internet. It's a source code editor. Open it and you're gonna need to write three lines okay, of coding. This is what you need to write. Do the exact uh, same thing with the re respect the space here between and here. If you have a, a sampler Akai S950, I think you replace Sugar by Akai slash S950, I think, not sure. But here, for our case, just write this. And once it's done, okay, what you're gonna need to do, do a save as, okay, in a normal text file and call it in a capital lock, SF, uh, sorry, ff.cfg. Okay, so let's go save this. Once it's done, this is gonna be your first file, okay? And that file, you're gonna copy it 
on your stick, okay? So uh, that this is will be the the first file you're gonna need on your USB stick, okay? After that, you're gonna need some uh, disk image file, and I'm gonna show you how to where to find uh, those files on the internet, okay? So let's okay, go. Okay, now you're gonna need to uh, go uh, on Google and just type HXC firmware, okay? And go on the first link here. HXC 2001, click on it here at your left, go at the bottom and look for support, download, click on it and here, go down, you're gonna see ready to use file images, quick install floppy disk image, click on this, download, okay, once you have download, okay, inside you're gonna find a lot of files it's all zip file, it's for different machine, just choose the one for Akai S900, okay? So unzip, after open the folder, inside there's different file, there's CFG file at the bottom, don't use that, don't do the mistake that I did before. So you what you need is just the, just the disk image file, okay? The DSK file, point .hfe. Actually, if you copy too much on your um, on your stick, it doesn't work for me. I don't know why. So I just copy from DSK zero to D DSK eight, and I know it's working that way. So I, I take those files, I drag it right on my stick, and after that, on my stick, I'm gonna have those files. Okay, the the CFG file plus nine uh, Im disk image file. And that's it, I'm ready to go, okay? I'm gonna put this uh, on, uh, on my GoTech and it's gonna work. I'm gonna be able to save my, my sample on the key. And after that, I'm gonna show you um, how to extract uh, your sample from your key on your computer in a WAV file, okay? So for that, you're gonna need to go on the internet and find an, an application, okay? Just go back on Google and type uh, type Akai S900 sample extractor, okay? And here, click on that link here. Akai S900 archive R massive. Click on the, that link. And on the page, okay? It's a bit tricky. Go down in the utility part. Okay, here, utility, you will find here. Okay, click on that. It's Akai S9 HFE and Image Sample Extractor V0.1. This is the, the app you need, okay? Click on it and uh, open it. On a, it's working on a window, okay? So I'm gonna show you on a window how it's working. So let's go. Okay, unrare the file. Create a folder and in the folder just put all the file, okay? You're gonna have a folder HFE in, image in, tools. This is your app, extract S9. And that folder, S9 out, it will be created only at the first time you run the app, okay? So it's normal, you won't see it right now. After, take your USB stick, open it, choose your disk image uh, with your sample, drag it in HFE in folder, okay? After that, you're gonna need to run the app. Double click on the app, press enter one time, two time, and now in the S9 out folder, you, if you open it, you're gonna have the disk folder, wave folder, and inside it's your wave, okay? So that's it, the only thing you need to know, your wave will be at uh, mono at 12.5 kilohertz. So uh, if you want, you can convert it at uh, 41 stereo, just choose uh, like uh, a small app, like uh, any video converter or video, uh, an audio converter, okay, if you want. But uh, what I did, me, I just uh, transfer it like this in my MPC 2000 Excel, and what it does, it it's, uh, play really fast, okay? So I just uh, down pitch, and actually it sound really amazing, okay? It sound really fast, so I uh, just uh, leave the file like this. So uh, that's it, I, I hope it was uh, helpful for you, and uh, maybe I see you in my next video, you can uh, also follow me on my, uh, on my YouTube channel, so uh, thanks a lot, bye-bye.